Hi, good morning. My name is Kara Campbell. And I'm a Christian counselor. And I want to share with you from a topic. Um, you are not your own. But I'm coming from the book I authored, Five Reasons Not to Commit Suicide. And one of the chapter is, you are not your own. And the reason I, <clears throat> I picked this chapter is because um, I happen to be talking to quite a few people, well, quite a few, two or three people, um, who are struggling with the thought of their life is their own and they can do whatever they, they please. So I know that um, if one or two or three people is struggling with something, a whole lot more people out there is struggling with the same thing. So I decided to, um, to talk about it. And I'm going to read to you this morning um, from Psalms 24. Psalms 24, verses 1 and 2. The earth is the Lord's. And, and these scriptures, as I did in the other two videos, is proving to you that this earth is the Lord's and everything that is in it. That means you and I. You are not your own. You were made by God. And I want to prove it to you from, from the scriptures. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. So these two verses are showing us again that the, the, the world belongs to God, including us, including humans. Everything in it belongs to him. And um, I mean, people who don't know who God is or you don't understand scriptures, because most people, you don't read the Bible, you know, you're not saved, you don't, you don't, I mean, there are people who are not saved who read the Bible and um, they still don't understand because you cannot understand this um, spiritual things without the spirit of God in you, you know? So I just want to, I just want to show you these things in the Bible. And as I said before, the Bible is our blueprint. The Bible is, our, is, is man's manual for man to live by. Because God did not just put us here to fend for ourselves, but he gave us a manual. He gave us a blueprint. He gave us something to guide us. You know, and if we live by the word and walk by his will, then we can find peace and joy for our soul and our life. And things will be a lot better than when we try to make it happen for ourselves. You know, I, I want to leave, I want to leave um, these words with somebody this morning. You are special to God. And I am talking on the topic of the five reasons not to commit suicide. Suicide, suicidal thoughts and tendencies is my message to you out there. People who are struggling with it, especially teens and young adults. I purposely target teens and young adults. Why? Because I know their, their, their minds are young and they might not understand just like I didn't understand what was happening to me. And if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, I probably would have taken my life too because I had a lot of reasons that I could, that I could do that. You know, but the word of God was instilled in me at a young age, from a young age, you know, and I felt that guilt. I could tell you now that that was guilt. I was guilty. If I went and took my life, I would be guilty. I would be because I knew better, you know, but that was the Lord. That was the spirit of the Lord that was restraining me. 
from taking my life because he had a plan. He had a better plan. And I want to tell somebody this morning that no matter what you're going through, God can use your mess. God can use your trial. Nothing that you have, you're, you're, you have been through will ever go to waste. God knows how to pick up the pieces and put them back together again. But guess what? You have to trust him. You have to give him your life. Give him your all. Allow him to do what he has to do in your life so that he can make the best out of, out of your mess. And I just want to leave these words with you this morning and thank you for spending the time with me. Thank you for watching um, these videos. And I hope and trust that you will take these words. Uh, you, uh, there's a song that says, take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. You know, he will peace and comfort give you. Take it wherever you go. Have a nice day and may God bless you until we talk again. Bye-bye.